Hey, Simon here again, and I'm going to talk about why there's absolutely no room in this world for amateurs. Hey, me again. So, I was at this sort of networking um, shizzle thing uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was in this conversation, there's about six of us, whatnot, and it was like a, a bank hating group. Now obviously I'm not a big flat fan of the banks but I mean these guys are really slagging them off etc and I, I did empathise with them somewhat and basically the cause for this was that there's this one business owner who, who's been running their business for sort of a couple of years now um, and he wanted a, a bank loan and he wanted to get sort of, um, I think it was, it was like 10, 20 grand, and they wouldn't give it to him. And he was basically, uh, based, yeah, he, he was quite livid about it, really. And I mean, I've had my run-in with the banks. I mean, I had one business where nine different banks didn't even give me a freaking bank account, um, which was rather annoying, because I couldn't set up, I couldn't start the business. I had loads of back orders, uh, orders ready and waiting, but I, couldn't, I didn't have a bank account to take the money in. And by the way, if you're getting into business, absolutely under no circumstances ever, um, like, this is if you have a limited company, you set up a limited company, don't take in the orders into your personal bank account, okay? Um, because when you set up a limited company, uh, a limited company is a legal entity, it's like a, another person. And if you then start selling and getting the money transferred into your own personal bank account, you're effectively, it's like fraud. It's, you're basically stealing money from, from this legal entity. So that's one of the big mistakes I made like six years ago. I, like Because um, I had a whole bunch of banks not giving me a bank account, I was like, oh, I wanted to facilitate the orders. And it just caused a whole tax nightmare for me. So yeah, that, that's one big thing. In fact, that's nothing about what I wanted to talk about <laughs> on this video. Um, yeah, there's no room in the world for amateurs. And the thing is, I, I sent out a few little probing type questions. I was like, so I was asking, you know, the, uh, does he have, you know, managed accounts for his company? Does he have accounting software? Does, does, you know, I was asking some basic questions like, what's your turnover? What's your profit? What's, uh, you know, what are your, what's your uh, operational expenses? Uh, as in your, your OPEX every month. And he didn't know the answers to any of these questions. He didn't, um, I mean, I'm not a fan of bank, um, sorry, business plans. I mean, they, they never they never survive. Um, but, and, and I can sort of understand why the bank didn't give him a loan because one, he didn't know his, uh, you know, his key metrics like turnover, uh, turnover at the very least, uh, profit, his margins, etc., like that. Um, and he is treating it like a hobby. And the thing is, um, if you treat something like a hobby, you'll get hobby-like results. So you need to treat things like, you need to be professional at everything, or at, at anything you want to really succeed in. You can't really get gain proper success by half-heartedly doing stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you were, if you had a lot of money and someone came up to you and said, hey, can I just have just 10 grand, please? you would ask some probing questions yourself, and, and I, I do too. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's basically just a really, really quick one. You've got like a little, I don't even see, no, you can't, the camera's fixed today, and there's a little whirlpool of leaves out there, but hey, yeah, really quick one. I hope that helps, see you soon, cheers, bye.